Every driver has expenses associated with operating a truck, from the purchase price and maintenance to insurance and load rates. Today, we want to focus on one that you can greatly influence, fuel economy. There are four main factors influencing fuel economy. The driver, the vehicle, how the engine and powertrain are specced, and the environment the vehicle operates in. How to get the most out of your engine is an important part of professional driving, and driving a Detroit diesel is something special. Before beginning your trip, you should always perform a pre-trip inspection. It begins with maintenance. Maintenance issues that you notice and how you handle them can make a big difference in performance out on the road. Start with a thorough underhood inspection, making sure the engines had time to cool sufficiently. Always be sure your engine is in good shape and road ready before starting your trip. First, check the area around and under the vehicle for obvious signs of fluid leaks. Check harnesses to make sure none are cracked or damaged. Check the oil level before starting the engine, making sure the vehicle's on a level surface. Inspect all hose connections to be sure that there are no cracks or oil or fluid leaks. Make sure to check that the coolant reservoir tank is full. The engine mounted fuel filter includes a water and fuel indicator light. This system needs to be drained if the indicator light is solid red. Note, the indicator only illuminates with the key in the on position. If the truck is equipped with a frame mounted fuel filter and the bulb is full of fuel, make sure to get your filter changed. Make sure to check your serpentine belt that drives the front mounted water pump, alternator and AC compressor. Your belt is self tensioned, but observe any cracks, stress or wear patterns in your inspection. The AC compressor is designed with a breakaway clutch, so if it does seize up, the belt drive system will continue to operate the alternator and water pump. Finally, check the exhaust manifold area, EGR components, and exhaust flex pipe connection for leaks. The EGR delivery pipe will be hot when the engine is running and after shutdown. Remember, do not use it for a grab handle. A black soot residue anywhere could be a sign of a leak. Also note in your walk around that the 2011 and newer model trucks are equipped with a diesel exhaust fluid or DEF tank heated for cold ambient conditions. Typically mounted on the driver's side to the rear of the cab access steps or behind the battery box access door, you'll note the blue fill cap, only to be filled with DEF found at truck stops in two and a half gallon containers or at the fuel island pump marked diesel exhaust fluid with a nozzle small enough to fit into the tank filler neck. Now, let's look at some other factors that you can control to improve your fuel economy. Inspect your trailer gap. It's recommended to keep it at 48 inches from back of cab to front of trailer. Inspect your tires. As your new tires wear, you should see improved fuel economy. Be sure to inspect them for every trip and keep them inflated to the manufacturer's specifications. Improperly inflated tires decrease fuel economy. The engine and powertrain are specced when the truck is purchased, but there are many parameters that can be set in your Detroit Diesel electronic control module to ensure they're properly set to get the best fuel economy. Reference the DDEC section of this training video for an explanation of these tools. Before you're ready to hit the road, Consider route planning and management are important in achieving your fuel economy goals. Ambient temperature is also an important factor. A 10 degree Fahrenheit increase can result in 2% better fuel economy. Winter weather can lead to decreased fuel economy due to winter fuel, longer warm up and increased idling time, and more rolling resistance from moisture and wind. In summer weather, be cautious of the effects air conditioning and cooling systems have on fuel economy performance. Whether you're driving a manual or an automatic, in the city or on the highway, knowing your engine and how it operates will make you a safer driver. And driving safely will improve your fuel economy and keep your vehicle on the road with less downtime. To recap, perform your pre-trip engine inspection. Make sure you understand engine performance characteristics plan your route, and use the engine parameters to your advantage.
There are five main factors a driver can control that impacts fuel economy by as much as 35%. Speed, idling, cruise control, road management, and RPMs, or the sweet spot. When possible, lowering your cruising speed by just five miles per hour can result in a fuel savings of up to 10%. Cruise control can increase your average fuel economy on a run by up to 6%. When possible, engage your cruise control at a conservative speed. An idling engine continues to burn fuel, resulting in an instant fuel economy of zero miles per gallon. You could be burning over a gallon of fuel per hour at idle, as well as the unnecessary wear and tear on your engine. Another important part of driving for fuel economy is managing your route and the road. Anticipating road speed changes to avoid hard braking and fast accelerations are good ways to improve your fuel economy. When possible, select multi-lane routes before two-lane routes to prevent backups and delays. Finally, as traffic safely allows, use downhill grades to coast in gear to pick up speed before the next uphill climb. Following these few basic tips can make a significant difference in your fuel economy and your bottom line. Now, let's go ahead and start up your truck. Observe the in-cab cutout switch, if so equipped. It must be in the on position before turning the key to the on position. The truck is equipped with several control modules, and they all have to work in conjunction with each other to deliver optimal vehicle and engine performance. Allow the gauges on the dash to sweep and reset, approximately eight seconds, before starting the engine. Once you're in the truck and are ready to start the engine, keep in mind that no idling time for engine warm-up is needed. Technology introduced years ago has eliminated the need to warm up and cool down engines in all but extreme weather conditions. Once air pressure is built up, the vehicle is ready to go. Remember, an idling engine burns fuel and gets zero miles per gallon. 2011 and newer trucks will be equipped with Blue Tech Emissions technology. Note the fuel gauge is dual purpose, indicating diesel fuel levels and diesel exhaust fluid levels. When the DEF level is one quarter full, Detroit Diesel recommends you fill up the DEF tank. If equipped with a clutch paddle, no throttle is required to get the vehicle rolling, even on a grade. Stay hard off the throttle until the coolant temperature gauge starts to move. Waiting for normal operating temperatures is a waste of time and fuel the engine will warm itself up as you start driving. Achieving maximum fuel efficiency is a practice that is ongoing while the vehicle is moving. Driving intelligently will result in better fuel efficiency, improved engine performance, and engine life. How you control your engine's RPM has the greatest effect on your fuel economy. It's best to operate the engine in the fuel economy sweet spot, or the heart of the operating RPM speed band. Ease into throttle and use only enough RPMs to get your engine into the next gear. Detroit diesel engines are designed to run at lower RPMs. Detroit diesel's lineup of engines include the DD13, DD15, and DD16. All three produce peak torque spanning 500 RPMs and pulling strong down to 1000 RPMs. With automated transmissions, the more throttle applied, the higher the engine speed that transmission will upshift. Use torque, not horsepower, to do the work. Transmissions are most efficient in top gear. Understanding a few new ideas on how to shift for fuel economy is important. Detroit diesel engines allow drivers to accelerate the vehicle more efficiently by taking advantage of the available torque at low engine speeds. Drivers need to manage their shifts to keep the engine between 1,000 RPM and 1,500 RPM. To drive most efficiently on the low side of the transmission, upshift before 1,400 RPM. And on the high side of the transmission, upshift before 1,500 RPM. Taking the engine above 1,500 RPM is a waste of fuel and does not provide any performance benefit. To stay in the fuel economy sweet spot, stay in gear down to 1000 RPM before downshifting. By keeping these new shifting ideas in mind and staying in gear longer before shifting, the driver keeps the engine in the fuel economy sweet spot longer, 
producing the best possible results. You may need to make your shifts at a higher engine speed while you're going uphill, and conversely, a lower engine speed when going downhill. But in general, it's recommended to keep RPMs between 1,000 and 1,500 for the best fuel economy results. The turbocharger wakes up immediately after shifting, even below peak torque, and complements progressive shifting techniques. Make the engine pull and work peak torque speeds. Full throttle accelerations waste fuel, but full throttle pulls cresting grades make sense. Shifting techniques, fast or slow, and the steepness of the grade all come into play. If the engine wants to pull a hill above peak torque, let the engine pull. Certainly, if the top of the hill is in sight, pulling below peak torque, at least down to 1,000 RPM, even if it slows the vehicle down, will not hurt the engine. The electronics are always monitoring boost levels and determining correct fueling at all engine speeds. Remember, the hill ascended has to be descended, probably utilizing service brakes, so why not start off at a safe speed down from the top? In other words, don't race over the top of the grade if it means slowing down with the brakes before descending. Utilizing downgrade force to accelerate the vehicle just makes good sense, especially if no braking is required. Engine braking can be safely utilized up to 2200 RPM if required. Anticipating highway exits and traffic stops will also save fuel. For example, if the traffic light is just changed to red, leave the transmission in gear and avoid downshifting. If you're on the highway and your exit is about three quarters of a mile away, back out of your throttle and carry your way to the exit. The long flat torque curve of the Detroit diesel engines allows you to still accelerate at low RPM. This unique feature is what makes Detroit diesel engines different from the rest of the engines in the market. So make sure to pay attention and drive according to the current traffic patterns. Along with monitoring traffic situations in each mirror and out front, pay attention to the feedback the engine is giving you. This information is extremely valuable for the maintenance staff to keep the tractor running at peak performance. Check your dash periodically while checking engine-related gauges. Obviously, any check engine light or malfunction indicator light, commonly referred to as the mill lamp, should be noted and identified to maintenance upon returning to the yard. A HEST lamp is only an indication that a regeneration has been in progress, indicating a hot exhaust. At less than 5 miles per hour, the regen sequence is terminated. Visible smoke from the exhaust stack should indicate a service situation. Fan on time should be reasonable for the ambient temperature, grades, and loading. Note the engine temperature gauge may rise to 225 degrees Fahrenheit before the fan engages. Let the engine decide fan on timing. A fan engaged early is a costly 45 to 55 horsepower mistake, probably a gear wasted during a climb. Finally, smart trip planning can go a long way in fuel conservation. Steady momentum is a good thing. When stopping, even for a scale check, it costs fuel. Every stop and acceleration with 70,000 pounds consumes at least one quarter of a gallon of fuel. Try to make one stop for relief, fueling, and meals. If you're stopped for more than five minutes, shut off the engine. Unless ambient temperature is extremely hot, the engine is cooled sufficiently to shut it off. During a post-trip inspection, you may hear after-treatment activity purging the system lines of diesel exhaust fluid. Remember these few ideas to help improve your fuel economy. To recap, idling equals zero MPG. Progressive shifting equals better fuel economy. Better running engines equals better fuel economy. Better planning equals better fuel economy. Driving for maximum fuel economy takes practice, but drivers who master these techniques are easier on the vehicle and on the bottom line. Good luck and have a safe and fuel efficient trip.